to this week's edition of the Team Zeddy Show. I'm your host, and this evening's topic is a general overview of Energize Connecticut. With me to discuss this evening's topic is Marissa Westbrook from United Illuminating and Energize Connecticut. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me, Pete. Thanks Appreciate for coming it. down. Thanks for coming down. So how long have you been with Energize Connecticut? Uh, six years. What do you do? Uh, I manage the residential energy services uh, for United Illuminating. Okay. Uh, and it's part of the Energize Connecticut initiative. Mm -hmm. um, the Energize Connecticut initiative is actually the state's uh, initiative okay. to help uh, residents and businesses uh, invest in clean energy and make clean, wise energy choices. Uh, it's a partnership between the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, uh, the electric and natural gas utilities, mm -hmm. uh, and the Connecticut Green Bank. What's the Connecticut Green Bank? I've never heard of them. Uh, well, they're actually undergoing a name change right now. They, uh, the former name was the Connecticut Clean Energy Finance and Investment Authority, and they offer financing options for uh, clean energy and energy efficiency. I wonder why they're changing names. It was a mouthful. <laughs> I know. It was, it was a, a tricky one to say. Exactly. So I think people can, can relate more to the Green Bank. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So I was... I was wondering, maybe we can talk a little bit about I, how people sign up for the program. Sure. So um, Energize Connecticut yeah. offers a wide range of programs for both businesses and residents mm -hmm. that will help them save energy. Okay, sure. Um, so the residential programs, there are a suite of about six different programs. All right. The flagship program there is our Home Energy Solutions Program. This is a turnkey service, an in-home services program, which will allow residents to identify where they are losing heat and therefore losing energy in their homes mm -hmm. and seal those heat losses up on the spot uh, and also learn about options to, in, to um, install deeper energy saving measures. Um, so as an example, and just to tell you a little bit more about how the, the program works, a technician will mm -hmm. go into the home and do some diagnostic testing. Mm -hmm. They'll do some t safety testing on the home's heating and cooling equipment. Okay. And then they'll do some testing called a blower door test. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, this is a really neat test. They actually bring in a large fan. It goes right in the door of the home and it draws in air. And by doing so, it allows the technician to identify where there is air loss occurring in the home, throughout the home, around doors, around windows, uh, in various places. Really? So it's a it's a great um, it's a great tool to use, and once those sources of air loss and coincidentally heat loss okay. are identified, the technician can go in and actually seal those areas using caulk or foam um, spray foam. Okay. So that's part of the assessment. They will go in. They will do this diagnostic testing. They will identify those air leaks and sources of heat and air loss. Okay. They will seal them up and they will also install other types of energy efficiency measures, such as um, lighting. They will look at the lighting that's used in the home. Uh, if it has inefficient incandescent lighting, mm -hmm. they'll exchange up to 25 old incandescent lights with compact fluorescent lights yeah. at no charge. Uh, it's all part of the program. All right. And uh, they will also offer, uh, now this is a new program change as of uh, the last few months, four free LED lights, which are a newer lighting technology. Really? They're more energy efficient, um, better quality light, better dimmability, uh, and it's one of the, the newer products on the market that's very efficient in terms of lighting. I was gonna say, they work pretty, pretty well, pretty efficiently when you change a light bulb. Absolutely, the, um, the quality of light is great, and in terms of energy savings, mm -hmm. both compact fluorescent lamps and LEDs yep. will save you energy. So the compact fluorescent lamps will save you approximately 75% in your in your uh, electricity, your lighting related uh, electricity costs. Okay. And the LEDs will save you up to 85. So a little bit more savings actually from LEDs, wow. better quality light, um, better dimmability as well. Exactly. And instant on some of the things that you hear about the compact fluorescent lamps is sometimes they take a little while to warm mm -hmm. up. Um, mm -hmm. So the quality isn't quite uh, what, what people are used to, mm -hmm. um, but that's not so with the LEDs. It's a great, uh, really? a good quality they, product. They, they light up pretty once you hit, hit the switch. They do, they do. And we're really trying to educate uh, customers about the benefits of this type of lighting technology. All right. Yeah. So I guess my first question is, is how do I sign up for the program? 
It's very easy. Uh, customers can sign up on the Energize Connecticut website, okay. uh, which is energizedct.com. All right. They can also call our Wise Use hotline, which is one eight seven seven Wise Use or one eight seven seven nine four seven thirty eight seventy three. Okay. And that's uh, very easy. They'll take your name and information and help you complete an application to get started. And how long does the process usually take start to finish? Um, the application process is very quick. We'll get you in the system. Uh, it'll be um, processed and start to finish. It might take uh, a week or two okay. to um, get a technician out to your home. Mm -hmm. But they will come out and the actual work itself, uh, the technicians come in pairs of two and they will be in your home uh, really trying to get uh, a great understanding and a nitty gritty understanding of what's going on with your energy in your home. They're there from about four to eight hours, anywhere between four, four to eight hours okay. on average. And they're pretty thorough when they come in and do do everything that they need to get done? They're extremely thorough and one of the great parts of this program mm -hmm. is that it's not only about going into the home and performing these services which will help customers save both on their energy bills and improve the comfort of their home but it's really a point of education for the customers the technicians are well versed in various aspects of energy use in the home energy loss in the home and what they'll do at the end of this assessment is they'll sit down with the customers okay. and we call it a kitchen table wrap-up and it's literally you sit down around the kitchen table and they will explain go over everything. they'll go over everything everything. They'll explain exactly what they did, exactly what they found, exactly what they saw, and they have a, they have ways through the test that they do, in particular the blower door test, yeah. where they can uh, see how much energy is saved by sealing up the leaks. So they actually re will perform that blower door test again at the end of the assessment Great and compare money. so you can quantify an estimation of energy savings from uh. just those services. And then in addition there's quantified energy savings from changing your incandescent lights to CFLs or LEDs, mm -hmm. significant savings there. Um, and then another measure which I didn't mention, which is also there's significant savings involved, is uh, air readers on faucets and water saving measures. And it's not, it's not something that people typically think of when they think of saving energy. Mm -hmm. What's that connection between water and energy? Yeah. But it, it's pretty logical when you think about it. If you are using less water, mm -hmm. you're using less hot water. If right. You have to use hot water, and then you're essentially using less fuel to heat that hot water. So uh, however you heat your hot water, you're using less of that energy by using these aerators or low flow shower heads, which are also part of the program. That's pretty neat. It's a great, that's it's a great pretty, turnkey service. It's pretty neat. Now for the technicians to come in, does somebody have to be home? Yes, they do right. have to have somebody at the home. There is a um, there is a fee, okay. um, but the majority of it is subsidized through the program. Okay. So the homeowner currently pays fee. Um, a fee, but okay. it is a small fee. It's seventy five dollars if you right. heat your home with electricity or natural gas. Okay. Uh, Ninety nine dollars if you heat your home with oil. Okay. Uh, and we are actually changing that in about a month. It's going to be moving to ninety nine dollars across the board for customers. However, you. Heat your really? Home, whichever fuel source. That's, so pretty, that's pretty neat. Keeping it consistent. And exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So what you, we talked about light bulbs there for a couple of seconds. Yeah. When they when they come in and they do the they do their light bulb part of the visit, and you decide to go with it. How many light bulbs do you get? You can get up to twenty five compact fluorescent okay. lamps lights um, at no charge and up to four free LED lights. Um, and what we do there is we offer uh, a combination of down lights, which are, if you think of the recess cans, those mm -hmm. cans that are in your ceiling yep. and the light shines down, yes. uh, those types of uh, LEDs. Or another type of LED is called a general service LED, and those are the ones that would screw into any sort of table lamp uh, socket. Mm -hmm. So it would be two general service, two um, LED uh, down lights uh, okay. or some combination thereof. And uh, they also, customers also have the option to purchase additional LED uh, lights at a copay. So that, that copay can be anywhere from you know five to twenty dollars, um, but it's offset by the program services as well. You actually just saw my next question, but okay. Uh oh. I was, <laughs> I was gonna ask how, Jumped ahead. how much do the LEDs cost? You said between five and Generally, depending on the type, there's uh, there's a type of LED for any application you you could think of. So okay. they'll range probably from anywhere from five to twenty dollars thereabouts. Okay, and I I guess how much I guess typically how much do people save? So that's a great question. Um, 
to quantify that, we, we generally say uh, they'll save roughly or on average $200 in their uh, annual energy bills by wow. undergoing this assessment. This is an average that we've seen across across customers. Okay. Uh, yes. Now, how you said they save about $200. How long does it take for the customer to start seeing the savings? Uh, they'll start seeing them immediately and they'll accumulate over the years, okay. over the year. Um, so they will start seeing them immediately, especially with the lighting changes um, and the other types of measures. You'll, you'll start seeing them right away, absolutely. So I, 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 get, I guess, I guess my, other, my, other, my next question is they, they come in and they do, they do the testing and then once they do the testing on site, they probably take the test, all the results back to, and file their paperwork with the state and do everything that way? Well, they actually they actually send all their information to us. Uh -huh. um, they send all of the data that they collect on site. Mm -hmm. uh, they, um, they use a tablet application yep. to collect the data, and it automatically gets uploaded into the utilities tracking systems where we're able to track and quantify the energy savings. Now let's talk about lighting here for a second before, because we're about to go into a break here mm -hmm. in about a minute or so. As far as the light bulbs go, people are, can save pretty much a good amount of money by changing their light bulbs from option A to option B? Yes, actually lighting is about 20% of a home's uh, electricity uh, and electricity costs is about 20%. Okay. So by changing out the lighting, you will see a significant impact uh, on, your, on your electricity bill. And then that, again, that takes some time for the savings to show up on your bill? Certainly, yes, it'll, it'll accumulate over time. And then yes. once it accumulates, you're pretty much Pretty much good, pretty much good, and you can start seeing the savings. And exactly, you should be yeah. good for. <laughs> You'll start seeing the savings right away. Exactly, right. exactly, which which I, which I think is a good thing. Absolutely. Now let's talk about windows. Yes. And let's see how let's see how windows. Sure. So there are, um, as part of the services that are provided mm -hmm. by the technician, as I mentioned, they go in, they assess the energy use of the home, they assess the equipment of the home. They'll also look at. They'll look at other features. They'll look at the windows. They'll look at the insulation levels. Okay. And as part of their assessment, they'll provide recommendations where upgrades um, can be beneficial. Okay. Sure. So those upgrades could be in the form of windows, new mm -hmm. windows, if, especially if the home has single pane windows. Mm -hmm. um, if a homeowner, uh, in order to uh, maximize the energy efficiency, uh, it's very beneficial to go from single pane to Energy Star certified double pane windows. Okay. Uh, and we do have, uh, for those who participate in the Home Energy Solutions Program, rebates uh, for those types of services, for windows, okay. for insulation, uh, and for other heating and cooling equipment. So by going through this, this assessment, you'll learn about what opportunities are available for you to take energy savings a step further, okay. to go deeper into energy savings and to achieve uh, better comfort and more energy savings within your home. All right. Would you mind sticking around for another segment? Absolutely. All right. Yeah, we'll be right back after a short break. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. The next 30 seconds can save you a lot of money. Just do your laundry in cold and stick to full loads. Auto-sleep your computers. Plug your gadgets in a power strip and switch it off when you're done. Head it out, turn back your thermostat by 10 degrees. And drive sensibly. The more energy you save, the more money you save. Find other great tips at energysaver.gov. And welcome back to this week's edition of the Pete Mazzetti Show. Sitting here with Marissa Westbrook. Welcome back. Thank you, Pete. You're welcome. So we talked a little bit about, before the break, we talked a little bit about windows. I was wondering if we can pick up the conversation and talk about windows and we talk about windows. Perfect. All yeah. right. So we, we think of windows as, um, we call them add-on measures. Okay. And we refer to that term, um, we think of windows as, a, as an additional measure that mm -hmm. a homeowner can do to save energy. Um, 
windows is one of those examples. Uh, increasing and adding insulation to your home is another example of what we call an add-on measure. Okay. Uh, and upgrading heating or cooling equipment uh, or water heaters. So air conditioners, boilers, furnaces, um, and water heating equipment. So as part of the Home Energy Solutions Program, the technician will sit down with the homeowner, they'll understand and, and take a look at the heating equipment within the home, and uh, they'll look at the windows, they'll look at they'll, where they can assess insulation, mm -hmm. and they'll advise the homeowner as to whether it makes sense to upgrade any of those areas to either add insulation in areas uh, where there is not enough insulation. Okay. And, and coincidentally, if a home was built prior to 1980, yep. it is very likely not adequately insulated. So there is significant opportunity right. to add insulation to the walls, to the attic, uh, to the ceilings. Exactly. A lot of good opportunity there um, for savings. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, along with new windows, which there are also there's there's rebates for the windows, okay. there's rebates for insulation, um, and there are rebates for the heating and cooling equipment. And now collectively, those are very um, those are those are great opportunities for the homeowner right. to save on their energy bills. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I don't know if people realize this, but uh, nearly 50% of a home's energy bill is related to heating and cooling. So by combining the air sealing that's going to keep you know, your hot, your warm air in in the winter and okay. keep that cool air in in the summer, mm -hmm. that's what the air sealing will do, it'll prevent the, the heat loss or cooling loss. Uh, combining that with the correct and proper insulation is a great way to control your heating and cooling costs and, and manage that like part it. of your energy bill. It sounds like it and the savings is probably pretty substantial by, with everything. Absolutely, absolutely. So the ne next topic let's talk about is, what do you want, um, what do you want to talk about? Well, uh, I guess we can talk a little bit about, um, <laughs> no? Uh, well. All right. Lighting. Lighting. Well, we talked about lighting. Yeah. We talked, talked about windows. Yeah. Let's talk about the installation. Well, what I could. In, in the insulation or sure. the, the insulation yeah. um, the technicians will advise um, adding particular levels of insulation based on the application okay. it could be in um, walls it could oh. be um, ceiling or attic insulation All right. and again that will help to kind of seal seal up the up the home and prevent heat loss oh. yeah. there are also a range of other programs I'd be happy to, to talk to you a bit about Go. that are part of the Energized Connecticut initiative please so home energy solutions is one of them there, uh, there is a Home Energy Solutions counterpart program that is offered to income eligible residents where they actually get additional services um, at, at no charge where there's that small copay uh, on the Home Energy Solutions program, the income eligible version uh, based on the income level of the household uh, can provide additional services. Uh, there is a retail lighting uh, and a retail products program. Really? Which is a great program if you ever to go to any sort of um, uh, do-it-yourself store or a grocery mm -hmm. store and need to purchase lighting, uh, if you see the Energize Connecticut label, we have offset the cost of that product in the background by working with the retailer and the manufacturer. We've provided funding to help offset the cost of that lighting equipment and that, those lighting products so that they're more cost effective for the consumer to buy. So you can go in there and see a wide range of lighting choices uh, exactly. in the lighting oil and the lighting aisle and those are made uh, possible and the prices are brought down to a level that's uh, reasonable for for consumers by our programs and by the funding through these programs. That's pretty neat. It's a, it's a great program. Yeah, and you can go to, into your local supermarket or wherever you want to buy your light bulbs yep, and they're, they're buy, everything, buy everything there at a, at a discounted rate. Exactly. There are several supermarkets, do-it-yourself stores and other types of stores throughout the state that offer uh, lighting products uh, at uh, through the Energized Connecticut programs. It's a great way to get those energy efficient products into people's homes. Now I was going to ask if people are having ideas of getting involved with the Energized Connecticut program and don't know if they should or they shouldn't, what would you tell them? Uh, I would tell them that a great resource for them is to mm -hmm. call the Wise Use Line. Okay. And there is probably some program that we have that will help them in some way. So if they have a question about um, a high energy bill or they may not be sure what type of boiler to buy or they want to uh, replace an air conditioner and how do I know if it's an energy efficient model that I'm looking at, they can call that wise use line that I had mentioned before. Yeah. 
which is one eight seven seven wise use, um, which is one eight seven seven nine four seven three eight seven three, and they will get uh, an individual who will guide them towards the right program to meet their needs. Very nice. Now we we talked a little bit about the elderly incentive. Well, or um, we would call fixed it the income eligible yeah. um, incentive, yes. So, Tell us a little bit about that. So all of the services that I had described as part of Home Energy Solutions where mm -hmm. the technicians go into the home, right. they provide the uh, blower door test, the air sealing, um, the lighting, and the water measures. Okay. We call those core services. And as I mentioned, there's a copay for residents of mm -hmm. either $75 or $99 currently. Right. So for the income eligible population, if they qualify based on their income, uh, on in based on income guidelines that we have, mm -hmm. they would actually get those services for free. And really? so uh, there would be no copay involved for them. Outstanding. So, yes, it's a great program. I think that's a great, great program. So what else do you want to, what else would you like to tell our viewers and our, and our listeners about the program? Um, we, uh, we have a program uh, that actually kind of ties all of our various programs together, okay. which is called the Clean Energy Communities Program. Okay. And it's a great initiative where we work with municipalities throughout the state mm -hmm. uh, and the communities commit to saving, they, they sign a pledge yeah. to save 20% uh, of their energy by 2018 by utilizing our whole breadth of services and programs that we offer through Energize Connecticut. And with this program, we work hand in hand and uh, closely with the task forces. Sometimes the towns have what are called energy task forces. Mm -hmm. We'll work closely with them to implement initiatives to help engage the residents in the town in all of the various program offerings here. So by doing so, uh, the towns can undertake uh, initiatives for their businesses and okay. utilize our commercial programs, uh, energy efficiency programs for businesses in the towns. The residents, uh, there may be campaigns to encourage residents to do home energy solutions. Okay. Um, there may be a lighting event at a retailer to encourage residents to exchange old incandescent lights uh, in exchange for LED lights to really educate them about that new technology okay. and promote it. So those are the types of activities that we do when we partner with the community in a clean energy communities program. And by doing all of those things within the town, uh, based on maybe the number of residents that mm -hmm. sign up for home energy solutions or uh, the a commercial project that may have been done, they earn points. And as the community accumulates their points, those points are earned and can be used to uh, to purchase or to uh, invest in other energy efficiency projects. So it's a great way to really tie the commercial parts of our program with the residential parts of our program with the community-based aspects of the program. Um, we engage with the schools often on the community side. We will you know, put flyers, uh, do a backpack campaign and put flyers in students' backpacks potentially um, to promote a particular event or initiative. And it's all geared towards educating residents about all of the various programs that we offer. And that, that, that outreach is pretty well received? It's very well received and we've had a lot of activity through the communities program. The communities program has driven a lot of um, activity into our programs okay. uh, because it's a ve it's really a vehicle to kind of bring them all together to market those programs and to show that by a community working together towards a, uh, a cleaner, uh, more energy efficient community, they uh, they will they will reap additional rewards uh, through these through these programs. Now, now all the communities that you guys service, you guys pretty pretty much have a good good amount of communities that participate with you guys? We do. Um, we have um, fairly significant coverage throughout the state in terms of the numbers of communities that are participating with us. And of course you'll always welcome more. Absolutely, absolutely. And that is, that's, a, that, that's a good thing because you, cause you get Energized Connecticut seems like it's a great, great organization, great program with all the energy savings that people, people don't know about. Exactly, exactly. You know, one other, one other point that I sure. failed to mention that I think is, is important for people to know is that there are financing options available uh, through Energize Connecticut for these programs. There are, there are great financing options. Well, um, before we say goodnight, let's talk about it. I think, yeah, I think that would, um, for residents to understand that by participating in these programs mm -hmm. uh, and, and doing any sort of energy upgrades in their home, uh, the first thing they should think of to do is, is really to call call the utility, call the Wise Use Line, uh, and let us know what you're looking to do, and we can pair you with one of these programs. The financing can help offset 
an initial cost to maybe invest in a new piece of heating equipment or cooling equipment. Mm -hmm. um, the financing options are, uh, there's a wide range of options depending on your, uh, your, your personal circumstances. Yeah. Um, there are some on-bill financing options. There are some no, uh, zero percent and low interest financing options. So if you were to go on the Energize CT website, you can mm -hmm. see uh, all of the various options that are available and there will certainly be one to, to meet, meet your needs. And every, everything is pretty much on the Energize CT website. People want more information on this evening's show or the... Exactly. Any, any of program. our programs, any of our residential programs, our commercial programs, our community program that I mentioned, mm -hmm. or financing, all of that can be found on energizedct.com. Okay, and it's pretty, it sounds to me like it's pretty informative, and everything's up to date with what you get, what you guys are up to. If people want more information, exactly, it's a fantastic resource. It sounds does does sound like it. Mm -hmm. And within the little time we have left, is there anything you'd like to add before we say goodnight? Um, I would just say to keep your keep your uh, your ears out for. Uh, the uh, campaigns to okay. uh, promote Energize Connecticut. As we mentioned, it's a statewide initiative. Right. Uh, we're really trying to ensure that people recognize this across the state as our resource, as the state's resource to help residents and businesses save energy and use energy more wisely. So Mar pick up the phone, call the Wise Use Line, or visit our website for more information. You got it. Mar Marissa Westbrook from Energize Connecticut. Thanks for coming down. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Pete. No problem. On behalf of Marissa, I'm Peter. Good night, and we'll see you next week.